Good morning, YouTube. I am here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning. And it is Halloween. October 31st. The last day, and it's going to be a, what, a blue moon. Yes, on so Halloween. Halloween, and they said the last time I think that happened was 1947 or something. It's that there was a blue moon on Halloween. So we got a bunch of stuff to oh, come. Oh, my, yes. And uh, <laughs> it's incredible. And this is from Roger and Thelma Poole. And here's a picture of them holding there up their, their Arkansas plate. And it's a Vietnam veteran plate. Thank you so much. I mean, this is very personal. And uh, we'll be really proud to put this on the wall for you. And they said that they, in circular saws roll. That's what they say. <laughs> yes, and they, do. they said they, they were quarantined together and watching our videos to help pass the time away. So uh, I hope we bring you some more entertainment. Uh, this is from Montana, and this is from Ken Swanstrom, the Shookum Timber Company, Northwest yeah. Montana. He's a logging contractor, and um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of beautiful timber oh, up in that my, neck yes. of the woods. Yes, but uh, another oh. nice plate to put on the wall here. Okay, getting on to this is from Stan Trudell, and he sent us uh, the the two license plates, one from Wisconsin and one from Michigan. One is where the sawmill is located. His dad had bought a sawmill back in the early 60s and that mill was put back together by his dad and him and his brothers ran the mill for several years. His dad has since passed on mm -hmm. and he turns bowls. Oh. So he sent me and Eddie Horvath a couple very nice handmade bowls and the lumber came off of that Very old nice. sawmill, and I guess his brothers are still running that uh, mill today. So yeah, I don't believe this is the first bowl he's made. <laughs> no, it looks like there's some. Oh yes, man, I'd love still. to see some videos of that. Yes. Yeah, that would be. I'd, I'd like to actually start to play around with the lathe a little bit, but we we got so much spare time on our hands here. But <laughs> boy, enough. thanks, thanks Thank so much. You very really much. appreciate it. Um, What's on the agenda for today? Uh, we've got a real nice piece of white pine up there on the deck. Uh, we're going to cut the rest of the front of this for the Yeah, we've got to close here. this in yet. There's a lot of uh, unfinished business here. And then the kiln has been ordered. Uh, we're buying it through Nile Systems. Um, it should be delivered here in the next couple of weeks. Yes, we'll now be we gotta drying finish. in a month. Yeah, well, if we get the electricity run, we got to get know. we got to get the power over here yet. So. And also, we got another project coming up for you, everybody. Uh, we're going to change out the wheels on the carriage. We were sawing some 17-foot decking, and it's all over the place. And the, the wheels were bad when we bought the mill, and we knew that it was time to switch it out. So we'll have you some video coming up with changing out the, the trackways and uh, putting the new wheels and bearings on it. And mm -hmm. that'll bring that mill back into absolutely perfect tolerance. 100%. So this old 1985 Edmonston is starting to really get itself tuned up here so hope everybody enjoys uh, that little bit of video coming up so well that sounds like we got a little bit of work to do so let's just get at it let's get at it all righty all right let's get this show started here And we got some pine for our building to get sawed up here. So we got a nice piece of pine for you. And Eddie's just going to stick it right out at the end of the mill. And I'm going to go out and adjust that saw guide real quick. Just a little bit cold here. 
take it a couple minutes to get warmed up. It's gonna be a nice log. I was looking at this log and I thought about Mr. Mike McCoy and his love for sawing. And he loved his pine. Oh, he saw him and him and Mary Ruth put a lot of pine through that old frick. So honestly, I don't know how that man could saw and talk at the same time. So when I get caught up in a moment, I'm thinking about what I got to be doing and not about a story but that is a skill let me tell you alrighty let's get this position where we want it and that looks about as good of a spot as any Head of the master dog. Clamp down with the dogs and let's see what we can make here. We want a bunch of one by tens is what we're after today. You give them just a make sure this thing's sitting good. He's gonna be able to pull that off without the damn chainsaw. Oh, there he goes. Get mad at that thing, Eddie. A little stringy there. All right, we're gonna take care of that ball. All righty. Let's get a reposition here a little bit. to try to get this down to 22 inches so we can manage it it's a big log and let's go and take one board off of here I think we can edge it down to get 10 inches out of it clean these faces back up already let's get her down there 22 inches so we can do something with it we don't want that thing running loose down in the saw Take 
another board off of there. We can edge down and get our 10 inch wide. And now we're in striking distance, people. coming home and seeing one of Mike's videos I'd always put his videos on in the morning and listen to his stories and yeah he'll be missed by everybody on YouTube I guess Chad wants to keep his channel alive and I hope he has success with that. I think everybody will support that. Nice wide pine there. We'll be able to edge that down into a couple of nice boards. Alright, let's take that nasty face off. Boy, 
does that make good starter wood for your fires? And that is a fresh piece of white pine there, people. Well, I think Eddie was signaling two boards out of that. And I think he's correct. That is a wide, wide board. That is down to 13. We're down to 12 and a half now. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I'm going to mess, let's see where it shows up at before I make that decision here. Yeah, nine and three quarter, let's go for that. We're still pulling two boards off of this face. down and we will saw a bunch of 10 inch boards always retract your dogs I'm going to take a little bit more. So once that saw starts to walk out, that'll become a fat board. And I don't want to deal with that. Uh -oh. A little splinter come off the back there. siding there. And we're going to do my normal, when we get into the center there, we're going to flip it back out. Beautiful piece of white pine. You can see how soft it is. That dog just sunk right down in it. Let me see where we're at here. Now we got a little ways to go, yeah. trees actually that's 
like there's some cracking going on there. I'm going to turn that out. And if we're going to throw anything away, we'll throw that away. you have a good saw when you're peeling off pieces like that because if you had saw problems that never would happen and I'm just gonna leave the carriage right down there for now so we'll be with you here in a minute people okay we're gonna go ahead and edge this wood off uh, what we're gonna do here is get two uh, 10 inch boards out of these we don't want to put them up that wide
watching uh, John from Frickin' Jeep. He edges everything on his mill. Um, well, if you want to see a real manual setup and see one man work very hard. If you don't sticker it immediately, it'll stay a very short amount of time. So you want to get it on sticks as soon as possible. outside of the tree it gets heavier as you go because this is still very very green as far as wetness and I'm going to flip this around in order to get a better yield out of this one piece We'll talk at you here in a minute. All right, Ed. What do you think we got there? Oh, we got about 22 feet. We need about 24. And I'll tell you what, that log yielded a lot of nice pine. And uh, I guess everybody likes to see the edger. Uh, we'll try to include that in more videos. Uh, that's how the, the outside of them them uh, trees become boards uh, when you're taking the slabs off everybody's like what, what do you do with those and uh, you get to see it every time now what we actually do and um, but yeah we got some projects coming up uh, if you want to see a, a, a video of an actual manual mill and and John is his name his channel is called Frick and Jeep F-R-I-C-K-N-J-E-E-P and he works by himself and i give him all the credit in the world i mean when we ran that manual mill together down there at meadows i mean with two people it, it was tough and uh check his channel out he he really um he has a i think it's a double watt and then he's rebuilding a uh, a, a number one frick mill he's putting a 30 foot carriage on this thing and the last couple of videos he's been sawing uh, oak siding and Eddie you you seen that oak siding and he saw on his it these are clear boards I don't know what his lengths were yeah. but there wasn't a defect in it the trees were dead there's a little bit of outside rot but I mean he pulled off some beautiful planks I was like man I'd love to have them in my shop but um, and that's uh, another shout out is uh, out of the woods uh, he has a band mill he has a LT40 wood miser and he had emailed me a couple times and uh, he has 91,000 subscribers his goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers this year so if anybody wants to watch out of the woods it's a band mill and uh, his purpose is a little bit different than our purpose uh, this is this is a grade mill designed to cut grade lumber and the band mills uh, they, he does a lot more live edge slabbing he's been cutting some uh, framing lumber with it lately some two buys and stuff and uh, he has a very interesting channel uh, someone else to check out and also uh, today I, I thought about mr. Mike McCoy cutting up this pine log and all of his stories and uh, we, we really really miss you Mike uh, God rest your soul. yes and uh, we our, our condolences go out to Mary Ruth and her son Chad uh, you know he's gonna try to keep the channel alive so 
hopefully it works out but we'll we'll be there to support you and watch you so all right everybody everybody have a great week and uh i hope everybody enjoyed the video today and we'll be talking to you next week so have a great week bye-bye thank you